Hey, welcome to Cook by Cass. In this video, I'll show you how to make my salmon patties in the air fryer. You're gonna love them. Look at this texture. The color is beautiful. Let's jump into the ingredients. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and mix in the ingredients. I'm gonna add the egg. And then this is the mayo, garlic powder, garlic salt, paprika, and the mustard. And I'll just add these in. And then we'll add in the salmon. All right, so I run, I drained it. And you can take out some of the bones if you want, but I know that it has a lot of nutrients. So if you want to take something out, you can. Sometimes I will get the really, if I see a big piece, I'll get that out. But other than that, I just used a lot of that um, for the nutrition purposes, the skin and the bones. Now you just want to mix it up. And I think, I mean, I think there's some recipes where people use like cornmeal and different things like that. But I kind of look at it as like having a crab cake without all that breading. So that's how I do my salmon patties. Just like that where it's just really... Um, salmon and then some different ingredients to bind it and then a lot of flavor and I do different things with my salmon patties different types of ways of eating it but we're gonna make it in the air fryer today and with this being um, one can you can probably get about four to six salmon patties. Um, sometimes I do two cans and I'll get um, eight to ten. But it just depends on what size you want them and how long you want to wait for them to cook in that air fryer. So these ones, I might make four or five. So that way we can just get them done in one batch. So yep, once you've got them all mixed up, then you can put the parchment paper in your um, air fryer and get ready to fry them. So these are looking good. I think I've first just about crushed up everything so that it has good consistency. And you can kind of tell from like getting a whiff of it if you feel like you need more flavoring. But to me this seems like it'll be pretty good. So we got that mixed up. Now we can just form the patties. All right, so you want to place the parchment paper in your air fryer, and then we can start forming the patties. So an easy way to do it too is if you know you're, like I said, maybe four or five. Um, if you're using a circular dish, you can just kind of divide it, make sure they're all even. You can just kind of form them into like mounds. This side you can see. That's one. Drop that down there. And that's two. And flatten them down there in there but you just want to I have a smaller um air fryer so four is probably what I can take so now I'll do that all right so this 
will be. I might be able to get another one in there. So I'm just warming the patties. let them be for that one would be pretty small and I'm just gonna add add this to them try to pat it in keep them separated if possible if they touch that's all right um you can you can separate it later all right all right so here they are all four of them ready to go in the air fryer i'll do these at 400 degrees and for about 15 minutes, that's what we'll put it on. All right, so we'll let that, let that cook. All right, so I got about five minutes left, but as you can see, this is how they're looking. I haven't flipped them, so the bottoms are a little bit lighter. You can see that. Ooh, it's really hot, but yeah so at this point now we can flip them and let the bottoms cook a little bit more so. So yeah, I'll just flip them over you can see that they're really hot two more flip so like super moist soft so yeah so um i'm gonna let this go for maybe a couple more minutes it depends on how big of a how much crunch you want um but maybe just like two more minutes and then we'll be done all right so it's been going for about a minute and a half to two minutes that ended right on time Okay, so now let's go ahead and get these plated, but that's the bottoms now. So it's got a little bit of a crunch on the bottom now. All right, so we can go ahead and plate these. So yeah, so you can see the top that has a crunch and the bottom still a little um, soft, but look delicious these will actually be good like even on sliders like if you wanted to make some salmon patty um sliders i think these will be good for that super hot all right so i just want to show you these up close yeah so we got four and as you can see they're they're four good size ones and they, they're good. They're thick too. You can see the thickness on these ones. Let's break into one of these. It's not too hot. That's beautiful. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I'll show some pictures at the end of some different ways that I ate these, but um, I hope you, you know, try this recipe. Yeah, but here are the salmon patties. Mm -hmm. As mentioned, here are a few shots of how I've enjoyed salmon patties. Like I mentioned, you can do the sliders, um, but I enjoy it with meals. I'll put it on top of rice or pastas. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.